Hey guys, Harrison One back at it once again with a brand new video for you. Welcome to the first um, episode of what I like to call review season here on the channel. This is the type of year I start making all the really in-depth review analytical videos I normally end up doing around this type of year, as well as the Harry Awards, which will be coming soon in December. Uh, well, technically it's December now, just later in the month, maybe around Christmas kind of time, basically. In the first of this little mini-series, I'm going to be reviewing my top five drivers of the 2014 F1 season. So, the, t the five drivers that, in my opinion, stood out to me the most in this, well, rather uncompetitive year in terms of right at the very, very top, one team dominated a lot, but was a Mercedes driver my favourite of the season? You'd have to watch and see the video for, to find out. Remember, I did this last year as well, and I already got panned for not having Sebastian Vettel, like... 14 or something, but whatever. Here's my top five drivers of the 2014 season, and of course, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if anything, if you've got any comments, if you're only like to chip in, feel free to do so in the comment section below. Enjoy the video. At the five slot, I have Fernando Alonso, and this is one of those picks which I had to really think about here because I was in two minds between him and Jensen Button. I think those two both had very, very good seasons. Both were excellent. Um, Button did a little bit more towards the end, I think, because I think McLaren were a little bit better towards the end of the year. But I think I liked Fernando Alonso on the whole a little bit more. And I think the reason why that was was because this really was Ferrari's worst car for quite some time. Uh, maybe since the early 90s. And despite that, he nearly got in the top five of the championship. Nearly won a Grand Prix in Hungary, got on the podium on multiple occasions, and still was it was a regular runner in the top six, even when things were looking really bad for Ferrari in a, in a situation where they had multiple team managers over the course of the year, and just the whole team seemed to be in a bit, little bit of flux and in a little bit of a mess. Um, the one shining factor in the awful camp of Ferrari this year was almost always Fernando Alonso. And he had another very solid year. It's one of those seasons where the sixth place in the championship doesn't quite tell the whole picture. And he had some fantastic wheel-to-wheel -wheel scraps of Jensen Button, Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, Kevin Magnussen, all season long. And he provided great entertainment. He was always very solid in a Ferrari car, which was just fundamentally flawed from the get-go. And I think as a result of that, he, he stood out just a little bit more to me than Jensen Button did. And it's a shame. Like, if there was a five and a five and a half, I'd have Jensen Button in the five slot. And I'm still going back and forth on this one now. But I think overall, Jensen Button's season was just a little bit worse. Maybe half a point worse than Fernando Alonso's. But I think both were excellent. At the fourth slot, I have Valtteri Bottas for Williams. And... Just another brilliant season from, from, from Valtteri. Um, I know we all had a little, we all got a little bit antsy a couple of years ago when Bruno Senna got cut for him, but Williams seems to have justified the decision here, and Bottas has been superb this year. Um, really getting the most out of that Williams this year. He had a very solid teammate alongside him in Felipe Massa, who was seemingly rejuvenated and re-motivated after a pretty dire um, Ferrari run. But um, Bottas... Beat him pretty convincingly over the course of the year, and he ended up fourth in the championship after a 30-point haul in the final race in Abu Dhabi with double points. Um, but it, he, he deserved it. He was brilliant. He had multiple podiums this year. Uh, was one of those guys that did a brilliant job of actually keeping fairly close to the Mercedes at times this year. And just looked like a guy that had improved so much from his first year. And proved that if you give a guy a decent car sometimes, he will reap the rewards for you. Um... People forget, this is still only his second season in Formula 1. His second season. I know people go crazy over Daniel Ricciardo, but you got to realise Ricciardo's been here five years already. This is Bottas' second year, and he's already looked like he's been here for a decade already. He's calm, he's cool, he's collective, he's got excellent qualifying pace, his race pace has been superb all year long. He's often been the best of the rest compared to the two Mercedes drivers, and for that... He's my number four on this list. If he can kick on from here, there's no doubt in my mind he'll be a future world champion. At number three, I have Nico Rosberg. 
Yes, I know he didn't win the World Championship this year, but he still deserves immense praise and should be very proud of his season this year. This is a guy who many thought was going to get rolled over by Lewis Hamilton over the course of the year. But if anything, he proved this year that he is a worthy adversary to the new double world champion. Rosberg was very fast in his own right and incredibly consistent and pushed pe people who many think is the best driver in the world right now to the final round in Abu Dhabi. Yes, mechanical gremlins had a say in the title here and there, but overall Rosberg was excellent. You know, he had 15, he ended up on the podium 15 times this year. He, again, he took Hamilton to the final round. He won the pole trophy. Now, this is something which I think is more significant than people realise because many people have told me they think Hamilton's the best qualifier in the sport. And despite the two gremlins that Hamilton had in the middle of the year, Rosberg still would have won the pole trophy anyway. So, if anything, he was able to match Hamilton's raw speed over one lap. And while he didn't end up winning, you know, the majority of the battles on track, he still kept Hamilton honest from start to finish. And you got to remember, he led the World Championship for the vast majority of this season. And that is something that, that he deserves immense credit for. Many people didn't expect Rosberg to be good this year, and he ended up being very good. And yes, Hamilton won the championship, but Rosberg deserves just as much praise for being able to push Hamilton to the limit like he did. At number two, your new world champion, Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> well, what can you say? Uh, eight pole positions, I think, 11 wins, nearly 400 total points in the end, despite the double point rule being a factor. But just a brilliant year, and you know, they always say the best yardstick for an F1 driver is to beat your teammate, as much as a flawed term as it is. And Hamilton thoroughly beat Rosberg over the course of the year. Head to head, at least. Um, I think there was something like I think it was something like in the end, um, <clears throat> thirteen six head to head between the two of them. And Hamilton won eleven races, and just the reason he got this spot over Rosberg was simply put, head to head on track, he was better than Rosberg. Whenever they were close um, on on track or, or whatever it was, whenever they had to battle, Hamilton was always the one that would come out on top until Brazil rolled around. That was about the only time where Ro Hamilton threw the house at Rosberg and Rosberg actually had an answer for him. Besides that, Hamilton was brilliant. He had a great raw pace. He made a few mistakes in qualifying here and there. But o on the whole, in the race, he was very, very hard to beat. And to be honest, despite the mechanical gremlins, it was almost always his season to lose. But he didn't make the mistakes he made in his earlier career. He came through, he won, and he made sure he got the job done. Overall, a very, very good season for Hamilton in what was the best car. And that's probably the only reason why he isn't number one on this list. Hamilton was brilliant, but for me, there was one who was just that little bit better. I can't believe I'm admitting this, and as a Sebastian Vettel fan, this is very painful to admit, but my 2014 Driver of the Year is Daniel Ricciardo. This is more of a surprise factor than anything else. Did anybody have Daniel Ricciardo having the season he had? By far, when it comes to the actual championship, the best of the rest winner with over 200 points scored. He thoroughly beat, in qualifying and in the race, arguably the best driver in the world in Sebastian Vettel. He's top three at absolute worst. <laughs> and this is a guy who was obviously the reigning world champion. And overall, he was astonishing out there. He always looked like he was able to get the maximum out of the car. He was brilliant all season long. He won three races and took full advantage of whenever Mercedes had their own gremlins. He again, he thoroughly outbeat Sebastian Vettel over the course of the year. Had brilliant wheel-to-wheel -wheel feuds of many great drivers like Fernando Alonso, like Sebastian himself. You know, he was a great, great passer as well. Put off some dazzling moves on people when he had to as well. And always just seemed like he had the measure of the Red Bull. And he got used to it really quickly. He kicked on and was just very, very hard to beat all season long. And just a brilliant, brilliant year from Daniel Ricciardo. And, you know, many people had their doubts about him when he went in there. He answered and silenced every single possible critic that anyone could have had about Danny Rick. And the Honey Badger for me is my driver of the year because he just impressed me more than anybody else he just looked like a guy who's again been here 10 years and just nailed 
He's done. He, essentially, he did this year what Fernando Alonso did at Ferrari so well, and that was just extract the maximum out of what was given to him, and just looked thoroughly impressive almost every time he got in that car. For me, Daniel Ricciardo, my 2014 Driver of the Year. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll, take, I'll catch you guys soon. Sayonara.